The avocado is an important crop to Kakuzi because it is a tree crop and it is a food item that you cannot miss in the 21st century. The main varieties of avocados that Kakuzi plants is Hass and Pinkerton. So why Kakuzi does the Hass variety and not the traditional varieties of the indigenous and the Fuete varieties is because of customers or consumers are preferring more healthy lifestyles and the Hass variety is more nutritious than the traditional varieties in terms of the benefits that are accrued to the consumers. Currently, Kakuzi has about 800 hectares on avocados and we plan to scale this up to 1,200 hectares. Traceability is a system of tracing a product back to its origin and as Kakuzi, we have ensured traceability by record keeping and filing. Every activity or every product that is used within our operation has a record to it. It is important in the value chain because you have different value chains and the consumer needs to be assured that the food product is, that is being sold to them is quality and is safe and can be traced back with all the operations that have been undertaken to achieve that product. And if issues arise from that product, it can be traced back to where the product was grown and what happened to that orchard. The avocado process begins at the nursery because that's where seedlings are propagated. It is important for Kakuzi to establish and grow its own seedlings for the sole reason of traceability. If you want to achieve a good future product, food product, which is in this case is the avocado, you need to understand the origin of both the rootstock and the zion. And for that reason, it is important that Kakuzi has its own nursery so that it has food, full and total control of this product from seed and from zion to the table. The factors that are considered in choosing suitable land for avocado growing, number one is the type of soil. The Haas variety, for instance, is very sensitive to water logging. Number two is the access to a reliable source of water. Steps involved in land preparation is number one, clearing of the bush, harrowing or digging to break the soil hard pan, marking of the spacing of the holes, laying and testing of the irrigation system if it applies, digging of the holes, doing a soil testing and finally planting. Some of the measures that are important and are considered during planting to ensure a quality avocado fruit in future is number one, the size of the hole, the quality of digging because we have to break the hard pan. Number three, the tearing of the potting paper because we don't want to disturb the root system from the seedling. Number four, the making of the mound because we want to make sure that we don't have any chances of water stagnation at the base of the plant. Number four, staking of that seedling. Mostly when you're planting, it's an open land, so you need to stake the seedlings to make sure that they're standing upright and they do not have effects of the wind. So the fertilizers that we use when planting are inorganic fertilizers and mostly phosphoric fertilizers. This is because phosphorus is a nutrient helps in the growth and development of roots in young plants. These fertilizers are guided by soil needs through a soil testing and as such do not exceed the required amounts 
and that means that they do not grade, degrade the environment and are safe for use. They also ensure that the avocado is quality once it production that meets the required market standards. So the amount of water required for one seedling in a week is about 70 liters on average. This is a significant amount of water, especially when you have a lot of acreage on avocados like Kakuzi has. And this means that our water requirements are high and as such we use dams for collection of runoff rain water, that a strategy that we call stretching the rains. Because once the rains come and go, we can use that water which is in our dams for the rest of the season to irrigate our crops. These dams are man-made and are strategically positioned that only the excess run of water gets into those dams. Every drop of water that we use within our operations is documented and accounted for. Over time, these dams have become habitats for crocodiles, hippopotamuses and the aquatic life. So what started just as a water catchment project now is home to the beautiful environment of woodland and the water aquatic life. Pruning is removal of unwanted or unbeneficial plant material from the avocado crop and is important for regeneration or regrowth of the avocado fruit to ensure that it continues to produce optimally. Pruning is important to the avocado development process because with time the trees need to be opened up. The avocado tree is friend to sunlight penetration for optimal uh, flower set and production and with the natural growth of the tree there becomes need for you as a farmer to shed off some of those branches to ensure that air flows in freely and that ensures that any maintenance operations are effective. Quality of yield after pruning has been done is usually significantly higher because uh, the tree regenerates and is able to produce better fruits in terms of sizes and aids in eradication of pests and diseases. The duration it takes for a planted seedling to be harvested the first time depends on if you planted the right seedling. Should you plant the right seedling, the average waiting time is about three years for you to achieve the first harvest and maturity at about six and the seventh year. Some of the measures that have been put in place to ensure food health and safety during harvesting includes number one, the personnel harvesting the fruits have to be in clean personal protective equipment involving an overall, a cap and cotton gloves. They also use uh, sanitized or rather sterilized clippers. Um, they also ha have harvesting bags and pole pickers. So once the fruit is harvested, the picker will place it in the harvesting bag and that fruit is then tipped onto a crate. On average, it takes about one to two hours for the transportation of the fruit from the field to the pack house where it's processed and packed. Apart from processing our own fruit from Kakuzi, we also engage smallholder farmers drawn across Kenya. The smallholder program for Kakuzi is important because we feel that we cannot exist without the community and these communities that live around our operations are the ones that give us our license to business and we feel obligated to give these farmers access to uh, training to capacity building and then subsequently to better markets. To this end, Kakuzi has established a fully-fledged uh, smallholders department that has extension officers that visit farmers in their homes 
in farmer groups or as individual farmers, training them in line with the Kakuzi calendar within what we ourselves as Kakuzi are doing to ensure development of that fruit from flowering to harvesting. This is to ensure that the quality of the product delivered to us by these farmers is of the highest quality. Once the avocado fruits arrive at the park house, the fruits from Kakuzi Estates and the ones from farmers are immediately uh, segregated at that point. This is important to prevent cross-termination. Kakuzi's fruits, for instance, are Global Gap certified, while those of smallholder farmers are not Global Gap certified. The smallholder fruit, for instance, is received, processed, shipped and shipped as its own brand, meaning we do not process Kakuzi fruits when we are processing smallholder fruit. Some of the measures that we have taken to ensure quality of the product during receiving and processing is number one, there is an established quality control room that is mandated to check the maturity of the fruit arriving at the pack house to make sure that we pack only the, much, the acceptable uh, maturity fruits or rather the fruit that has attained the acceptable maturity levels. Number two, there is access controls. So not everybody that can access every point of the park house and personnel accessing certain areas need to be in the correct personal protective equipment and there is regular sanitation of the facilities within the park house during the processing. The Kakuzi Avocado Park House is FSSC 22000 certified and some of the measures we have taken to this end include an effective pest and rodent control program, a sanitation program and a health and safety procedures that are in place within the processing facility. It is a requirement that avocados are harvested, packed and placed in the cold chain system within 24 hours of harvest and this is important to ensure that the quality of fruit is maintained as when that fruit was harvested. To ensure the Kakuzi smallholder farmers get a fair return of their produce and quality, we have a two payment system where there exists a first payment and a second payment. The first payment is paid a week after the farmer delivers their produce and the second payment paid as bonus is paid at the end of the season and is dependent on the market performance for that particular year. This ensures that the farmers have a regular source of income throughout the year. What is unique about Kakuzi is that there exists a full control of the supply chain from seedling to packing and export. This is important because it ensures that the final product that goes to the consumer is of the highest quality possible.